Well, this morning um, I was reading in James. Roy let me know Friday night about doing this and uh, prayed about it to see what the Lord wanted me to go to. And James popped up. And James is one of my favorite books of the Bible. <coughs> and in James chapter 3, it says, Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the, his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts great things. And I just really see it happening uh, when it comes out of my mouth, when something comes out that hurts someone and I recognize it, I immediately feel, feel bad about it. And when I see others do it and I recognize the hurt that it puts on them, I feel even worse. When somebody else does it to someone that you know or love or whatever, just, just words of the tongue. doesn't have to be a, any other kind of attack, but just that little bitty tongue that is, is in our mouth that forms the words that come out often before we think about what we want to say. We just react, but it's already said. So James is, is giving us an idea of that and bringing that to light in us. How great a forest is, set, forest, forest is set ablaze by such a small fire, and the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staying the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in his likeness, in the likeness of God. Ever think about that? Father, I praise you, I love you, and I want to live my life for you, and you're everything to me. And You stupid jerk, what do you think you're looking at, or what are you doing, or... You know, what, what's the next thing that comes out of the same mouth that offers praise? Ugliness. And we're all guilty, I would imagine. Y'all may not be, but I know that I am. So, From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and salt water? Can a fig tree, my brother, bear olives, or a grapevine produce figs? Neither can a salt pond, y pond yield fresh water. He's just telling us that what comes out of our mouth can only be controlled by us through the power of Christ and, and the uh, having Christ in us and the Spirit in us and, and, and trying our best to live by that guidance of the Holy Spirit and it's a work you, you can't just come to church and sing the songs and um, have it it's it's a lot more than that it's a lot deeper than that it's not a surface thing and I know people that cuss a lot you know well I don't cuss in church I can get away I can, get, I can go to church and not cuss you know well then why what keeps it going you know why do you have to do it later and, and especially with our loved ones we can we can say something that especially like to our kids we can say something sometimes and and be worse than if we gave them a spanking or you know we really hurt them and i just ask that we all check ourselves our family and our friends and our church friends and the world how the world sees us however we meet or whoever we talk to at work or just really look at that and see 
if we're living like we need to. That one little tongue that guides this whole body, just like the ship, you know, a big aircraft carrier. It's not a real big rudder to, to guide such a, a large ship. But man, if it puts it in the wrong path, it can, it can really do some, ha some damage. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would bless this service, Lord, that you'd bless, bless Roy, Lord, and his word that he's bringing today, Lord. I pray that the worship, Lord, be all about you from, from our hearts, Lord, and, and, and let us come to, to fellowship with you, Lord. Lord, I invite the Holy Spirit to come into this service. Be here, Lord, with us as we go about the things that go on here today, Lord. We just do them all for you and your glory in Jesus' name. Amen.